Number 75, use principles of atomic structure to answer each of the following. And then we have letter C. So it says, given these ionization values, explain the difference between calcium and potassium with regard to their first and second ionization energies. Okay, so the best way to explain this out is by drawing calcium and potassium. So we'll have calcium on, actually, I guess, I guess we'll put potassium on the left-hand side and calcium on the right-hand side. Now, for both of these, right, calcium and potassium, we have a N, E, oh boy, we have an energy level, a principal quantum number of N equals four, right? So we have N equals four. Okay. Now we can draw the four circles, right? But you know, there's one, two, three, and four. But just to make this simple, I'm only going to draw the fourth one. So here, here's potassium and here's N equals four, right? And N equals four is the largest uh, subatomic particle. It's the largest energy level for potassium because that's where its valence electrons are. And the same thing with calcium. So I'm gonna just draw a circle. That's pretty good. And I'm just gonna say N equals four. And likewise, calcium has, you know, N equals three, two, one, and those are, you know, smaller and smaller and smaller, closer to the nucleus. So I guess let's just bring these closer together. And let's just put the uh, valence electrons. I mean, technically, I <laughs> technically I don't like this. Did anybody else know that I was going to do that? If you've been with the channel, you probably know that everything has to be pretty, pretty symmetrical, pretty on point. This, I'm not going to worry about. It's a little bit more, but I think I can deal with it. Okay. <laughs> I think it's just me, guys. I'm really sorry. All right. So we're going to draw the uh, valence electrons. Calcium is in uh, group two. So it's got two valence electrons. So one and two. It doesn't really matter where you put them. You know, if you wanted to kind of double up, that's fine with me. But I'll put them one on each side. And then potassium, since it's in group one, calcium's only got one uh, valence electron. So we'll say one val, one valence electron, and valence electrons are the electrons in the outermost shell. In this case, n equals four. All right, so now we have to just explain the differences in ionization energy between the calcium and the uh, potassium. Now just know that ionization energy is the energy needed to become an, oh, an ion, right? But in this case, it's not all, any old ion, right? It's specifically the cation, the cation. So it's the energy needed to lose, because cations are positive. So it's the energy needed to lose an electron. So you are always going to become a positive value for your ionization energy. Ionization energy does not talk about gaining electrons, All right? That's electronegativity, that's electron affinity. So let's compare these two numbers for the first ionization energy. Now the first, keying in on, keying in on the first, the word first from first ionization energy, the first is just saying that you are losing you know, the element's first electron from, you know, all the valence electrons that it has. So from the valence electrons. Okay. Now, remember, if you have, now this is a general uh, concept here, that the more energy it takes to do something, whether you have a high lattice energy, you have a high ionization energy, you have a high bond energy, you have, you know, uh, um, you know, thermodynamically a high enthalpy value. Um, this high amount of energy is always talking about stability. So the more energy that is that something needs to 
you know, use in order to get something done, that just means that it's going to take a very, 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 very hard time to do it. So let's just say that the more energy that it takes to, you know, either gain an electron or lose an electron, that means that it is super hard to do. And if it's super hard to do, that probably means that the element is probably doesn't want it to be done, right? So it's kind of like, you know, in real life, when I was growing up, my mom was always like, you better, you know, you better clean your room. You better, you know, make your bed. I'm like, mom, come on, try me. (laughs) Oh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll get it when, you know, when I have kids, but (laughs) anyway, but, but that's the idea here. If it's super hard to do, it requires a lot of energy for it to get done. So it's resistant. So let's kind of take that idea and see if it works here. So enter in the first ionization energy. Now in this case, seems that the calcium has a lower first ionization energy. Lower always means easier. Higher means harder, relatively. So losing the first ionization, you know, losing the first electron for for potassium was easy. Or we can say that it is lower than the 590, so this is kind of harder to do. But let's analyze why. Well, keep in mind that remember, they always want to be like the octets. And octets always have their their uh, energy, you know, uh, their energy levels filled. And by having potassium filled, it doesn't want this one electron anymore. So enter in the first ionization energy, the first electron that is going to get lost. So potassium is like, okay, go get lost. Then I'll become a noble gas. It was super, super, super easy to do. Potassium didn't care. Potassium was like, oh, you know, I don't even want this electron. Go, goodbye. And goodbye, it does. So that's why it was easier. By losing the first electron, it became a noble gas. Now, as far as the calcium wise, same idea kind of here. That calcium, you're still going to lose the one electron because it's the first ionization energy. But when you lose the electron, eh, you still got one left. So was it really favorable for calcium? Eh, not really. So that's why it was a little bit higher than the potassium. Because you lost the one electron, goodbye, but you still are not a noble gas. Now let's check out the second ionization energy. Now, second just means that you're losing now electron number two. You already lost the first one, so now you're going to lose the second electron. And potassium now drops down to N equals three. And potassium, remember, is a noble gas. He's chilling, right? Or whoever this is, right? Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we'll just give it eight right? But he's got noble gas configuration. So now look at the difference between these, you know, these energy values. 3,050, this is way higher than calcium's 1,140. So on the terms of increasing energy, it's super hard to do. So potassium right now is basically Steve Carell in the office (laughs) when he goes, no, God, no, please, no, no. Does anybody, does anybody know what I'm talking about? But since potassium has, you know, the the noble gas configuration, potassium is like, I am not losing another electron. Why would I lose another electron? No. It's not going to happen. You need 3,050 kilojoules for me to lose one extra electron. Super, super hard to do. But calcium, on the other hand, calcium's like, hey, if I lose this one electron, I'm going to become a noble gas. So 
goodbye goes. And that's why the energy value is lower because this is finally when uh, calcium reaches its noble gas configuration. So with ionization energy, the higher the number probably doesn't want to do that. And then once, you know, calcium loses at n equals 4, it goes down to n equals 3, and now they're both, you know, noble gases. But this whole idea that we talked about is this answer in a nutshell. So it's all about uh, higher the energy value, more resistant, super hard to do, probably doesn't want it to be done. Um, and then the lower the numbers means that it's super easy because chances are it's favorable, they're going to be a noble gas. Okay? Okay. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Um, thank you so much for viewing the video and let me know if you watch The Office. Fun fact, I have never watched The Office. I just know that meme. But right now, I'm on the Big Bang Theory and I'm kind of liking it. I'm, I'm, in the beginning, I'm only on season two, but in the beginning, I, I was a, a Leonard fan. I still am a Leonard fan. But Howard, eh, nah. You know, Raja, Sheldon, in the beginning, I, you know, Sheldon was eh, but now, now he's growing on me, but we'll see. We'll see how it progresses. But if you've watched The Big Bang, let me know. I'm a huge TV nerd. Don't really like movies, but I love TV. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? All right. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye.